Hello. This election has been stressful for lots of people. And I have OCD and other anxiety disorders. And I like to say I feel what everyone else does, just multiply by, by, by 5 or 10. And being a Christian with an anxiety disorder it can be very difficult because of the guilt involved. I feel like I, I don't have enough faith. And right now, this election, I know that God is in control. I know that everything will end out for the best. But right now, I'm terrified. I'm depressed. I mean, I know people who don't have mental illnesses who are having a hard time sleeping and eating and because of this election. I feel impotent. I feel like I want to do something, but there's nothing I can do. And that's why I make my videos. That's why I go on my vigils. Um, I go to public places and with signs. And I read scripture. Sometimes softly, sometimes more forcefully. I did that today. Um, I went downtown. I live in Madison, and Joe Biden was going to speak, and I was going to see him speak, but then I thought, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit outside and I'll read scripture, and I read scripture for about two hours. I'm thinking about doing it again tomorrow, um, but this time at the farmer's market. There are a group of Christians Christians um, who have a booth at the farmer's market on the state capitol on Saturdays. And tomorrow is the last farmer's market. And they have this booth that has all the hits of right-wing Christianity. Young Earth creationism um, and unwavering, unthinking Belief in helping Israel right along. Basically, they don't talk about the widow or the orphan. And I know these people are supporting Trump. I ran into one of them at Woodman's today. And it sickens me that People are watching this election and they're thinking that's what Christianity is. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there very early. Hopefully get there before they set up. God is in control. It just feels like he's not. And if Donald Trump gets elected, I pray that he is the Antichrist just because some good will come out of it. I don't want a President Trump. I don't want the Antichrist. I don't want the tribulation. Nobody wants it. We want to see Jesus again, but only a wicked man would relish the thought of tribulation. So anyway, tomorrow I'm going to go down there with my signs and share the gospel with the secularists who walk by and by the Pharisees who have their booth there. God help me and God help us. We're about to go off the cliff.